Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carbo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Season of the Witch video. Zer is back in the EDZ, so we're going to check it out and see what Zer has for us today. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Zer can show up in one of three different locations. Today, he decided to show up in the EDZ, so spawn into the Winding Cove and just for a few days, you can check out Zer and he's going to bring us some new exotics and some new legendaries and some armor as well. So let's check it out and see what Zer has for us today. Now as always we have returning the illustrious Illuminous Exotic and Graham, 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 Graham. So you can get after all those old exotic if you haven't already my guardian. And we have one random roll for the Hawk Moon Exotic. Let's check it out. This week we have Chamber Compensator, also Alloy Magazine, Eye of the Storm, and Combat Crew, making this pretty cool roll for PvE and for PvE. We also have the Skyburner Old Skull Rifle, and it comes with the Intrinsic Perk called Slug Rifle. This weapon lobs all explosive slugs when you're aiming down sights. The slug travel fast and straight, and when you're firing from the hip, the explosion is large and applies scorch to the target. Actually pretty good in PvE, it's pretty decent in PvP as well. Next up we have the Gemini Jester, and it's going to be Exotic Leg Armor 4, that lovely hunter class. It's going with the Intrinsic Perk called Misdirection. Dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporary removes their radar. Excellent in PvP and pretty good in PvE. Next up we have the Peregrine Greaves leg armor. It's going to be exotic for that Titan class. Come with the intrinsic the part called Peregrine Strike. All shoulder charge abilities, seismic strike, hammer strike, and shield bash deal bonus damage when activated in the air. Damaging mini bosses. Tormentors or champions with your shoulder charge who funds your melee and provides a benefit to the airborne affecting the stats of all weapons. All this and it's just meh in PvE and it's just decent in PvP. Needs a buff in my opinion. Next up we have the Gateway Artist and the Gateway Artist is going to be my little arc buddy. Yep, for that lovely Warlock class. It comes with the intrinsic perk called Dynamic Duo. Arcanage turns into a uh, Arc Soul and it is autonomous tour. Excellent in PvE and in PvP. Pick it up added to a collection. Now for our legendaries, we have the Nature of the Beast hand cannon with the handling masterwork. And it has some pretty decent stats on this one, leaning more towards the PvE side of things. So, you know, have fun with that one. Still should be decent in PvP as well. We also have the Wolf Tone Draw Combat Bow. Precision frame with the draw time masterwork. And this one also leaning more towards the PvE side of things with Dragonfly on here. So if you're looking for a, a, a bow, well, you know, they, they have a couple of them for you today from Zer. Also, we have a Peace of Mind Pulse Rifle, which is actually pretty good. This one's going to come with a Stability Masterwork. And also has some pretty decent traits, also leaning more towards the PvE side of things. But since this is a pretty good Pulse Rifle, it still should perform pretty well in PvP if you choose to pick it up. Next up we have the Arsenic Bite 4B Combat Bow. Lightweight frame though so you can draw quickly with the Accuracy Master. Pretty nice. You also have two bows in here. This one I think is a little bit better with Quick Time and Sneak Bow. Definitely pick it up if you're looking for a bow. Now for our Trace Rifle is the Path of Least Resisting. With the handling masterwork with triple tap and other stats leaning more towards the PvE side of thing yet again. So I mean it is what it is, but this one still should just be decent in PvP if you're gonna pick that up for that. We also have a seven serpent saw, and this one is really hard to get it a really good roll, but this one's not bad. Has some pretty decent stats on it, should bump up the range a little bit, and also leaning more towards the PvE side of things too. Still should be decent in PvP as long as you get your headshots. And last but not least, the House Gal is here, and this one's gonna have a blast radius masterwork. Only thing good on this is cluster bombs, so yeah, hard pass for me. Not a great selection today, but we do have a really high stat roll for the gateway artist if you're looking for that for the warlock. Now moving on, we have our catch killer set, and this is what the set looked like for our warlock. Here is the catch killer gloves, the robes as well as the catch killer bond here's the catch killer hood as well as catch killer boots and last but not least we're going to go over our other two guardians as well here's the titan and his gauntlets here is the catch killer plate for the titan 
Here is that catch killer mark for the Titan. Here is the catch killer helmet. And here is the catch killer greaves for the Titan. And moving on to our Hunter. Here is the catch killer grips. Here is the catch killer vest. Here is the catch killer's cloak. Here is the mask. And last but not least, we have the legs. Really not good stat rolls and kind of meh for transmog. So boom, there you have it. That is what Zer has for us today for January 19, 2024. Happy Friday, my guardians. Hope you and yours have a wonderful weekend. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing it? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpal Game. We'll put a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys, and news, and a whole lot more. So once again, thanks for watching. As always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.